Good morning. I am Pastor Carrie Anderson of Luther Memorial and Our Savior's Lutheran Churches in southwestern Wisconsin. Thank you for joining us this morning for morning prayer. I invite you to participate with the bold that will be printed on your screen. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise to the blessed and holy Trinity, one God, who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. Alleluia. Psalm 119, verses 169 through 176. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication become before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips will pour forth praise because you teach me your statutes. My tongue will sing of your promise for all your commandments are right. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live that I may praise you and let your ordinances help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek out your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. A reading from John, chapter 7, verses 25 through 36. Now some people of Jerusalem were saying, Is not this the man whom they were trying to kill? And here he is speaking openly, but they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that he is the Messiah? Yet we know where this man is from, But when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. Then Jesus cried out as he was teaching in the temple, You know me, and you know where I am from. I have not come on my own, but the one who sent me is true, and you do not know him. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. Then they tried to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him because his hour had not yet come. Yet many in the crowd believed in him and were saying, When the Messiah comes, will he do more signs than this man has done? The Pharisees heard the crowd muttering such things about him, and the chief priests and the Pharisees sent temple police to arrest Jesus. Jesus then said, I will be with you a little while longer, and then I am going to him who sent me. You will search for me, but you will not find me, and where I am, you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Where does this man intend to go that we will not find him? Does he intend to go to the dispensation among the Greeks and teach the Greeks? 
What does he mean by saying, you will search for me and you will not find me? And where I am, you cannot come. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. Let us pray. Almighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, for bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes us new every day. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ, in the all gifts of healing and forgiveness, for the gift of relationship with others, and for the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. We pray especially for those who are governing nations of the world, for the people in countries ravaged by strife and warfare, for those who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from the carelessness and destruction, for those who struggle and suffer for the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. Almighty God, you have brought us in safely to this new day. Preserve us in your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all we do, direct us to fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. <laughs>